Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Hall. Today I have something I've been waiting to get like for a long time. Uh, one thing, they hadn't made one, but now they, they have one. Uh, it's the DeWalt cordless air compressor. Um, I don't know about you, but I've done jobs before where I have to run extension cores. They're like, you know, 100 feet to get my air compressor hooked up to do anything from like some nail jobs, uh, you know anything um, but I, I'm primarily a mechanic uh, by trade so uh, I have a big compressor in my shop however I was looking for something portable um, I have enough customers now that I end up doing a lot like a lot of road calls and there's nothing worse than being out there and you need an air compressor to put air in the tires or uh, to, to run an air wrench to take a like a you know pickup truck tire off or something um, I mean, I have other DeWalt tools and stuff, and they do a great job, but sometimes you just need, like, an air tool. So, uh, got this. Let's open it up and see what we get inside. And I'm actually going to do a good demonstration with this because uh, I have to do some service on my, uh, my one Nissan pickup truck. And uh, I'm going to actually use this to take the wheels on and off so you can see how it has the power to, to do an air wrench. And right away inside, let's get a better view. So you got your, you got your manual. So we got the overhead view helping us out since this is a large tool. You have your charger that is sitting, sitting on top. And I think... Uh, I should be able to pull this up. Let me see. So that's the top part of your box. And no, let me put it down on the chair. I might have enough clearance. So that's that. And it has the battery. Thank goodness we're going to actually open this up. So I think it's the larger battery. Yeah, so it's the. Uh, the big big battery so that is very good so and it has this little safety thing on here to, to remove while it's in transport Let's see if we can't I'll leave the knife on that please remove before use okay and it's stickered on here really good safety piece. I think I'm going to have to scrape this off actually. Alright, there we go. So that's a little transport. Keep the battery safe. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, that's it. That's the back. So this is where your battery goes. And I like how it has a, it accommodates a larger battery so it does lay on a flatter side and two and a half gallon it looks like it has like your standard uh, air inlet and you can go to I mean the gauge goes all the way up to like 300 obviously you're not going to charge it to that but it does have a, a max setting at 120 psi so like 90 is probably like 90 to 100 is usually where I run my air tools I know that the air tools usually have like a uh, you know, anywhere from 60 to an 80 max, but um, that's that. As the pressure release valve, I'm gonna pull it. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's no air in there. So that's pretty neat. That's what the bottom of it looks like. So you do have your little safety valve here. So obviously, when you are uh, not using it, obviously keep this valve open just to kind of let the humidity escape out of that, so it doesn't rust from the inside out. Um, but other than that, that is great. And like I said, we're going to go put this to the test. I'm going to charge the battery up while I'm doing like the standard oil change on the pickup. And then hopefully this will be charged and ready. And we'll see, um, one, how much power it actually has. And two, how long the, uh, the battery actually lasts. And it's probably going to take a little while to charge up because it only has one thing. But that should give us enough time. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. All right, so our battery is fully charged. And believe it or not, that took about uh, 30 minutes, maybe. 
So that was pretty cool. So we're going to put this down on here. And so like I said, we're going to set it to probably a little bit over 90. So we got good pressure for everything. And then like I said, this is a good looking machine. And the on switch is here. So we're going to let that power up. Get our air hose out. So that's a couple minutes to charge up to 135 pounds as it looks like we're shut off. Um, let me get my air wrench. So that is the 1,000 uh, foot-pound uh, cobalt. I know it's a DeWalt tool, but this is the air wrench I have. So this is the one I'm comfortable with. We're going to use this guy. And let's hook this up. All right. Let's start taking tires off.
So a little bit of a lag here. So, let's keep a pretty good pace. Alright, so we're going to let it charge up and we'll take the last wheel off. So anyway, so that is four wheels off, and we'll go to the official timer on a video. But uh, that just gives you an idea of the power of this little guy uh, and the battery. I was able to take four wheels off with an air-hungry air wrench, uh, and it did it.
It had a, it did two wheels no problem. Got to a third. That's when we started having some uh, some pressure issues. But again, that is an air impact tool that is like super air hungry. Um, it charges up fast, so you can keep on going. And to give you an idea of battery. So you use one bar. So I got two bars left on that battery. I will be able to uh, put these tires back on and torque them back up. Um, we're going to push this over on the side because I'm actually going to undercoat uh, the vehicle. So when we come back, it'll be nice and shiny underneath. And then uh, we'll put the tires back on with this. And uh, we'll, we'll max torque it out. And then we'll check with the torque wrench and see what we have going on. But uh, yeah, other than that, so far, absolutely pleasantly surprised. Uh, thank you. All right, so I'm done undercoating. Got the, the door open to let some fresh air in here. We're going to hook this back up. And actually, we are going to we're going to rotate the tires. So we're going to bring the uh, back ones up front. So we'll start up in this corner like we did before. Lagging a little bit here, but we did one complete wheel pretty good. Let that charge back up. Looks like about 30 seconds in between will get me up to the pressure I need. seconds. Let's give it a minute to charge back up.
those in. We're going to switch over to fill them with air. Take a much easier task. You're going to fill these up to 44. All right. Put a little weller, run them a little bit higher. I think the max is 51 on these. go so we were able to change four tires take them off rotate them put them back on tighten everything down back up to 135 pounds we were able to top the air pressure off with the tires and to give you a general idea is we have one bar left and uh, that is probably a more abuse than you're probably gonna use on your machine throughout an entire day uh, primarily, I assume that carpenters are going to be getting this for like nail guns and everything else. But if you had to bring it on the road to run an impact tool, uh, you know that you, you absolutely positively can do it with this thing. Uh, this is absolutely one of my new favorite tools from DeWalt. Thank you for making this and uh, for Amazon for carrying. But that was, a, that was a great workout that I put that thing through. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, Brian from uh, Garage Mahal with your DeWalt cordless two and a half gallon uh, air compressor. Love this thing. All right, uh, be safe out there.